Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about decomposition technique. State space analysis, this is control systems and lecture series on state space analysis. This is lecture number eight. So our topics, decomposition technique. What is decomposition? Why decomposition? Advantage of decomposition? Disadvantage of decomposition? And implementation of decomposition? Overview. Decomposition of the transfer function. So what is transfer function? And why transfer function? Then types of decomposition technique. General transfer function. Advantage of decomposition technique. Applications of decomposition techniques. Implementation of decomposition techniques. So what is transfer function? And what is decomposition of the transfer function? What is transfer function? Laplace transformation of output divided by Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transformation of input and all initial condition are zeros is called transfer function. So again, what is transfer function? Transfer function means Laplace transformation of output divided by Laplace transform of input and all initial conditions are zeros is called transfer function. Then what is decomposition technique? Decomposition of the transfer function. What is decomposition of the transfer function? The process of going from transfer function to the state diagram or the state equation is called the decomposition of the transfer function. This is the very important sentence. The process of going from, so transfer function given, our target transfer function to state diagram, state equation, state matrix and signal program and at least at last stability of the system. So what is the chain chain reaction? First transfer function, basic idea of transfer function. Then convert transfer function to state equation and next state equation to state matrix and then state equation and state matrix to state diagram and state diagram to state signal for graph and then stability of the system. So this is our target. Then the state variable diagram is not an unique and hence arise various ways of decomposition of transfer function. The process by which transfer function changes to state diagram or state equation is called decomposition of the transfer function. The process by which transfer function changes to state diagram or state equation is called decomposition of the transfer function. So types of decomposition techniques. The transfer function for state space representation in decomposed can be determined by four methods known as, that means four types of decomposition technique. Number one, signal flow graph method or SFG method. Number two, direct decomposition method or DDM method. And cascade decomposition method or CDM method. And parallel decomposition method or PDM method. That means decomposition techniques mainly four types. Number one, signal flow graph technique or method, direct decomposition method, cascade decomposition method, and parallel decomposition method. General transfer function. What is the general transfer function? A system defined by the, its transfer function may be needed to convert to a state model from analysis point of view. A state model is very much suitable for computer application. This is the very important systems. A state, a state's model is very much suitable for computer applications. 
Thus, a exact analysis can be carried out using the state variable models. Consider the general transfer function is as. This is the transfer function, ys by u of s, where ys equals to system output and u of s equals to system reference input. And this is the ratio between Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input and all initial conditions are zeros. In matrix related Laplace transform, in state space case, matrix related Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input and all initial conditions are zeros. Here, the transfer function equals to B0 s to the power m plus B1 s to the power m minus one plus B2 s to the power m minus two plus dot 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 plus B m minus two s square plus B m minus one s to the power one plus B m. Denominator s to the power n plus a1 is to the power n minus one plus a2 is to the power n minus two plus dot 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 a n minus two s square plus a n minus one s to the power one plus a n. By numerator terms is called poles po zeros position and denominator terms is called poles position. In this situation, numerator power M, that means Mth order differential equation. And denominator side, S to the power N, that means Nth order differential equation. In general case, always M less than N or equals to N. So what is the case? Generally, M less than or equals to N, where M equals to N, the transfer function is, this is the m equals to n condition transfer function, which is ys by us equals to, just put m equals to n, s to the power n, beta zero, b zero s to the power n plus b one s to the power n minus one plus b two s to the power n minus two plus dot 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 b n, and s to the power n plus a one s to the power n minus one plus a two s to the power n minus two plus dot 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 a n. This is the transfer function. What is the condition? m equals to n, numerator power m and denominator power n. Advantage of decomposition technique. This approach can be applied to linear and nonlinear systems. That means decomposition technique we can use or apply to linear and nonlinear system. So what is the linear system? Obey the superposition formula. What is the nonlinear system? Does not obey the superposition formula then this approach can be applied to time variant or time invariant systems. This is also important system. This approach can be applied to time variant or time invariant system. This approach can be applied to single input and single output system. That's, that means CISO system and multiple input, multiple output. This is also called MIMO systems. This is applicable, CISO and MIMO, both cases. It is easier to apply while Laplace transform cannot be applied. This is the more important advantage. It is the easier, it is easier to apply while Laplace transform cannot apply, apply it. The nth order differential equations can be expressed as an equation of first order whose solution are easier. This method is suitable for digital computer computation because this is a time domain approach. This is also important sentence because this is applicable digital computer computation because this is a time domain approach. Implementation. By using decomposition technique like signal flow graph method, the direct decomposition method, cascade decomposition method, parallel decomposition method, we can easily solve the state equation, state matrix, state diagram, signal flow graph, controllability, observability, and finally stability of the system. This is the important or application of the decomposition technique. That means we can use or we can solve the decomposition technique 
for a differential equation or for its transfer function the state equation state matrix state diagram signal flow graph controllability observability and stability of the systems what is the application in mechanical system in thermodynamic system electronic system electrical system ecosystem etc thank you